confused by what exactly is this definition that we were no, talking so about. And I was confused by the Ministry of Law's um, statement that came out right, right after that. But I'm trying to understand why you then say, since you mentioned the select committee, mm -hmm. why you then say that you take issue with the select committee inviting them to come and clarify that they can come and do it under oath. Because my understanding of the select committee's terms of reference was that it was looking at uh, deliberate online falsehoods and what measures should be taken and not to arbitrate the truth or falsehood of the Human Rights Watch report. Because in that case, there are some submissions that said that in 1987, there was a Marxist conspiracy, which was the evidence of government spreading falsehoods, in which case, perhaps the committee should invite yes, retired yes, ISD officers that. to come in and talk about and right, address those said. allegations that they were spreading deliberate falsehoods. So perhaps you you know, well. it, it would have been a problem because then we would end up turning the select committee into a universal clearinghouse no, of everybody's it, allegations. No, it's, it's not that. It's, it's not that. It's just that some, some parties like you, yes. you have referred to the report. Yes. You raised it in your submission, don't yes. forget. Uh -huh. And as I said, you made that as one of your pillars or your foundation pillars on which you then form a view which you are trying to convey to us. Yes. And that's why we are looking at that report and the foundations of that report. And yes, it is to people... that extent that they were invited to come. I see. Well, I thank the committee for their clarification, but in that case, people have also used um, Operation Spectra and Operation Coastal as the pillars of the foundation of their submissions. So you, you know, that, that's why I was confused and I was wondering why um, Human Rights Watch was invited to the select committee to defend its report when that was not clearly within the terms of reference. No, it's not about of defending its report per se, but also to try to understand the views on which you have also espoused mm -hmm. and you've also relied upon. And so if in crafting the appropriate suite of remedies, if we are not to look at the full range of countermeasures, because you say apparently that there is some freedom of expression yes. issues, then I think we were entitled to look into it. And it is in that context. Yes, so the committee is entitled to um, solicit Human Rights Watch uh, opinion yes. and a submission. Yes, um, my impression was that from, from what was reported in the media from PAP Policy Forum's submission to the release of the chronology to the Ministry of Law statement was that Human Rights Watch had been invited because um, PAP Policy Forum was accusing them of deliberate falsehoods. If it's not the case and they were actually invited because I mentioned them, um, then you know, I, I thank the committee for their clarification. They, they were invited uh, before the, the PAP Forum came to give the submissions. Including the written submission? The, they were invited before that. Before the written, okay. So, so the, no, b before they came to give the submissions. So, but so the not point before is the you written now, submission. You now know, you now yes. know the reasons. Now, the point is, when you make a statement, 